So welcome back to our next tutorial in which we'll be discussing the next operation. So what's left? Just our chamfering. So let's go back to our chamfer for setup one and we can copy and paste it. Double click, go to our geometry, exit out of all the contours that we have picked. And we're just going to pick everything that we want chamfered. There we go. So you may ask, well, what about uh, this contour right here? Is it going to chamfer right at the very corner and smash into the part? Uh, will it do the same thing over here? Well, as we go to passes, you will notice that we have a chamfer clearance option. And if we hover over that, it shows exactly that that won't happen because there's a chamfer clearance. A fusion is very smart. It will recognize if our tool is going to smash into a wall, if it's going to collide. So uh, this recognizes it and will leave us 50 thou between the edge of the tool and a wall. So let's go OK. There we go. So we have finished everything. We can just simulate that as well. It's always good to simulate to see if there's any red, any collisions on the bottom. There we go. And you can see that it's starting. It's not colliding with these posts at all. It's stopping just in time. And it does that as well right here. And of course, in real life, you'd probably take a file or something and finish off that edge or not. It, it's up to you. So there we go. We have created setup one on this side, setup two, we have facing operations. We've got all these different operations that we have used. We've utilized the 2D adaptive clearing. It's very powerful. It's what we use most of the time, believe it or not. We learned how to spot drill. Just flip that around, drill through. We learned how to do a boring cycle. We finished our contour. We did a chamfer. And then we have setup two, finish face. We've done another 2D adaptive clearing. We have used a 3D flat operation, which is amazing. Use that more and more if you can in your shop. And then we finished off with a 2D chamfer. So if you've benefited from this tutorial at all, please smash that like button and the subscribe button and sign up for alerts as well. It would mean a lot to us to get this channel up and running and have more and more join regularly. If you're facing a challenge, let us know. Tell us uh, what issues you're having, what tool paths you don't understand. If there's any features that you'd like to understand more, please put it down in the description below or in the comment section below, and we will get back to you. So thanks for joining the Learn It channel. Hope to see you with the next tutorial.